This series shifts locations as we get set for a big one. Game three of the NBA Finals, right here on EA Sports. We're at Toyota Center in downtown Houston. Tonight, it's the Houston Rockets taking on the Atlanta Hawks. With my partner, Jay Williams, I'm Ed Cohen. Jay, you look at the Hawks coming into play. They won both games on the road, and now they need just one more to claim the NBA championship. The one thing we know about playoff basketball, expect the unexpected. How many games come down to the wire, or a performance off the bench, or even a big shot at the end? Every night holds something different, and that's why we love this game so much. To Alan Crowd. Off the assist. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. And now Houston has the basketball. Harden to Westbrook. The drive right to the basket. Oh, straight down the middle for two. You can try and body him up, but he'll still run right through you. It's the way he attacks that makes him so dangerous. He chips off a piece of your body one possession at a time. First it's your arm, then it's your leg, and then inevitably it's your soul. Knocked loose. It's a turnover as they head the other way. I'm hearing some boos from the crowd. They know just like I know you're not getting back on D. Westbrook into the front court, trailing by four. To Capella. Westbrook. His first effort off the mark. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. Oh, Jay, he commands the paint this time down. They're going to have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter. To Capella. Alex Len ah, tips it. Couldn't keep it in. It's out off Jabari Parker. Harden. It's Westbrook. And Collins there to grab the rebound. Runners good there. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. It's Russ at the controls. And he's fouled. A trip to the line coming up. Hey, look. Sometimes you need to feel out your opponent. Let him know you're there. I'm okay with that early foul. Russell Westbrook at the line for two shots. A career 81% free throw shooter. Knocks down the first. No good on the set. And a put-back slam. Woo, that's nasty right there. Count the basket, and it could have been more. No whistle. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. To Fareed. Harden to Westbrook. Shot clock to four for Houston. Colin Capella. Three for four. Good start. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. And count the basket inside. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm.
coach is going to shift gears and adjust his matchups. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. No doubt about where that one was headed. Here's Atlanta. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three. Set it on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs, the strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. throw good as he completes the three-point play. The lead is up to six. Rivers to bring it into the front court. Looking to make something happen. Throws it down. Good luck keeping up with that. Did you see that jump? It was as quick as a pogo stick. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Showing you why he belongs here in this league with the best of the best. Efficient scoring out of the rookie here tonight. Harden to Fareed. Can't connect from in close. Has a chance. Shot by Turner. Won't go. The follow won't go either. It's in the hands of James Harden. Driving right to the basket. James Harden, two for two. That's what you want. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Cash is in for two. It can only be one of two things here. One, the defender ran out of gas. Or two, this dude is just unstoppable. And an eight-second violation. It's going the other way. Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. And scores at the rim, Jay. Good luck recovering from that. That's a good run right here to end the first quarter to open up that lead. If you're the coach of this team, you have to like the effort your guys are giving. Harden to Rivers. Alex Len rejects it. Just incredible timing on that swap. Count the basket at the rim. I like that aggression early. You never just settle for jumpers. You attack, you attack, you attack. Then when they back off, you'll have room to shoot that, Jay. Hawks with the basketball. Easy pad to the rim. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. Harden. That misses with three seconds left. That's the end of one here in game number three. And we're back after this. You're tuned into the NBA Finals on EA Sports. Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. River. We know what's coming. Go get it. Trey Young. Count the basket inside. Now the Rockets will use a timeout as they'll take a moment to go over things here in the second quarter.
Westbrook. Off the iron. No good. Unbothered by the defense as he drills it. Can we all just agree that that handle is next level? But that jumper's wet, too. Mm. Westbrook with it. His guy's currently down by 13. Rebound claimed by the Hawks. It's the Hawks with the basketball. It goes down. <laughs> he was so wide open. Pretty much looked like a deer staring into the headlights. Last resort, but still, points on the board. Russell Westbrook against the Ukrainian Len. And he knocks it down at the line. Westbrook fires the three. Too easy. Defense has to communicate. Ooh, that confidence level is so superior. Whenever you start jacking back on defense before the ball even goes through the net, that speaks for itself. Converts in the paint. Nice finish at the rim. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. Gordon with it. His guys trail by 13. And they call it. Welcome to new age basketball. You blow on me. That's a foul. Westbrook. From long range. And the rebound taken in by Land. Layup goes down. Well done. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Gordon with it. Down by 15. Alex Len pins it. That'll be out of bounds. Last touch by a Hawk. Westbrook. Alex Lynn able to recover with the block. Four three. That's off the side of the rim. No good. Iman Shumper with the block. Just erasing mistakes left and right. Here's Westbrook controlling the offense. Tough mate through traffic. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. Nothing going here on that drive. Trying to cash in. I got him. I got him. Here we go. Here we go. Tucker down to Fareed. Stuffs it down with authority. I mean, defense, is it that easy? Can I see some reaction after somebody gets an easy dunk? Some yelling, some kind of emotion? I need you to get involved back in this ballgame. Westbrook across the timeline, trailing by 11. Gordon on the drive, but he can't get it to go. From the painted area, won't go down. It's no player. I know you're probably frustrated by me even saying that, but when you don't even give the option to pass the ball by utilizing some head fakes or ball fakes here and there, you save the defender by keeping them on their toes with the element of surprise. It's Westbrook. Shot won't go. End to end on that one. 94 feet for the basket. It's almost like he had the defender on a string, and he's the puppet master. <laughs> he gets it. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. I got ball. I got ball. 
Knocked loose. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. Not that time. So the two teams will head to the locker room as we reach the break here in game number three. Let's get you to Orlando where we say hello to Jalen Rose in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Jalen. Thanks, Ed. Let's get right into the action here. The Hawks have built a comfortable lead. And before the game, I had a feeling they might come out strong, but not like that. Needless to say, I'm a bit surprised by how well they executed their offense. Have a look at the leading scores for the Atlanta Hawks. The Rockets have yet to appear after one half of basketball. The way they struggle doesn't bode well for them at all. But if they've got some fight in them, we'll know right away in the third quarter. Have a look at the leading scores for the Houston Rockets. Player of the half. The field speaks for itself. He's definitely the player of the half. Now he just got to give an encore to get his team to win. All right, back to the second half. I'll see you after the game. Now it's hard controlling the offense. Westbrook to Capella. Whistled for the foul. Chance coming up at the free throw line. Sometimes when you get up big, you get a little careless. But attention to detail through the end, that's how you avoid unnecessary fouls. He missed the first one. He missed a pair of free throws. All by himself. Creates his own shot there. Just a ball-handling wizard, still putting people under his spell. Mm. Rockets in control of the basketball to Westbrook. The drive. Right. Got a piece mm. of it. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. Yes, and a foul. because this kid's been putting in the time and effort every day in the weight room. Throws good as they continue to widen their lead. We get a whistle and a timeout for Houston as their coach wants to get a word in with his guys here in this third.
Harden. Down to Fareed. Spinning shot. Won't fall. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. throw good to cap off the three-point play as they continue to open things up here in the third quarter. Not loose. It's a turnover as they head the other way. Here's your chance to break this thing wide open. Harden has it up the floor. To Westbrook. The jumper's off the mark. Counted. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Westbrook into the front court. His guys down big. Knocked loose. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Oh, knocks it down from three. This is a game of ways. As a defense, you have to recognize that they come and they go. That will not be the case all the time moving forward. Now the Rockets will use a timeout as their coaching staff wants to over here in this third quarter. Substitution being made in this one. John Collins sends it away. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Count the basket, and it could have been more. No whistle. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Hawks have it. Defense forces the turnover, and it... We used to hear that saying all the time, a two is a two, keep it moving. No, a two isn't a two. It can be a dagger sometimes when a defense has mental laps like that. He deflates the energy of the D by making easy lays. And a whistle. He took a chance. That's the right call. They're going to make some changes with some new personnel on the floor. Harden not getting the bounce. Couldn't keep it in. Off James Harden. Down low, Collins flushes it home. Man, they are just continuing to pour it on. But the one thing we know about in this league, you have to make sure that you continue to play with energy because leads can evaporate quickly. Driving right to the basket. Right down the lane, but the shot won't go. That's toughness right there. Physical inside, gets it to go. 
Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. Harden, guarded by Damian Jones. Off the mark. And a putback slam. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters. But when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. It's Harden. Brings the ball up. It's a turnover as they head the other way. And count the basket. Ah, and that transition offense was flawless. When guys fan out and actually fill the lanes with a sense of urgency, you heard me correctly, a sense of urgency, you will get a great shot every possession. Some lineup changes now. Austin Rivers. Knock loose. Got it. Not always the first option, but his number was definitely called on that one. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot he wanted. Rivers into the front court. Less than a minute to go in this third quarter. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. Here on their home floor, they're chipping away. I mean, does this crowd have a pulse? Are they even alive? Sometimes when you make a play like that, your crowd needs to get you back in this ball game. Houston with the basketball. I got him. To Rivers. Nene. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The defender was in good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball. But sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. Iman Shumpert trying to cash in on a three-point play for his career, 76% from the line. Oh, he can't connect. Tough-looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. So many times you can tell if a player is going to finish before he even gets to the rim. Did you see that look on his face? That was the look of a three-point play. You always going in think you can get more at the rim. Give him two points. High percentage. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Knock loose. Defense forces the turnover, and it leads to points. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. Long key from three quarters court. There's the buzzer. Three quarters complete. The Hawks already pulling away.
with the basketball to start this fourth quarter. And it might be time to empty the bench, Jay. This game appears to be well in hand. And their starting five has certainly earned the fourth quarter off. They've been terrific this ball game. And this is the type of game where you find a chance to relax. You ice up, you watch your other teammates play, you applaud them, and you get ready for the next game. Tucker has it against Evan Turner. Reset here. Let's see what they do. Finishing inside the paint on that one. I don't know if the scouting report has made its way out here yet, but if anything, it says you need to not let him get that close to the rim. Trey Young. And a chance at three coming up. Ed, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. Chandler Parsons at the line for a chance at a three-point play. A career 70% free throw shooter. And he can't convert the free throw. Westbrook with the basketball. Down a bundle. Harden. Westbrook. And that's good. Westbrook. Wide open look won't go. I don't know why he rushed that shot. He was wide open. Take your time. Nice pass to get things going. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. John Collins snatching it out of the air. That kid can block out the sun, man. It's Atlanta ball. Count the bucket for two. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender did it. Westbrook into the front court. He'll run the offense. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. That's all she wrote. Dribble it out. And scores. Strong take. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. Westbrook with it. Looking to make something happen. Alex Lynn sends it away. That'll be out of bounds. Last touch by a Hawk. It was right there. John Collins with a piece. Just erasing mistakes left and right. I oh, can't miss those. And I'm telling you from personal experience, those are the ones that keep you up late at night. A point blank miss right there. You gotta make those. The shot almost. End to end on that one. 94 feet for the basket. Here's lesson number one. When you allow a player like that, the freedom of space to dance with the ball, there's no telling what kind of break dance move they might hit you with. Shot by Westbrook, off the mark. Deep three, at the buzzer, the Hawks are victorious. They've won their first NBA title since 1983. Trusting the process leads them to a championship. For my partner Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been the NBA Playoffs on EA Sports. Find out more at easports.com. Until next time, good night.
Jalen Rose here, and I've got your EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Hawks must be feeling a million different things right now, all of them great. They've done it, NBA champions. Only a select few get a chance to experience the view from the mountaintop, and they absolutely deserve it. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Atlanta Hawks. Player of the game track. Defense. The Atlanta Hawks put under pressure defensively in this game. And in return, they put back some blocks and steals on the stat sheet. Not only that, they put a W in the win column. And that's everyone's favorite stat. Player of the game. Easy choice for player of the game. No one else made as big of an impact in this matchup. That's another postseason in the books, and I'm already dreading the wait for more hoops.